Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, could you please tell us how this works? So it's an RF detection system. That means that uh, we detect the RF communication from the drone and from the operator and can triangulate exactly where the drone and the operator is. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a radar where we uh, send emissions and they are reflected by objects. Mm -hmm. Instead, we are just monitoring the RF site. So how did you come up with this idea? How did the company start? Um, yeah, <laughs> the company started about uh, almost 35 years ago with the Commodore Amiga, and that's in the old days of the computers. And then Commodore shut down its business, so we had to move our business field, and we went to um, protect rooms against bugs, against RF detection bugs. And then we made measurement equipment to detect if the room is good, shielded, or not. And the customer wanted to buy this bug searchers. Mm -hmm. And then we said, oh, hey, we can make money for that. <laughs> and that's why we came from the test and measurement. So we made the antennas, the bug searchers, and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, about five years ago, a big German company came to us and said, we need a detector for drones. Can you do it, yes or no? And we said, of course, we can. And then we made the first system that was generation one. And now we are speaking about generation three, which is installed about 100 systems at the moment all around the world. Mm -hmm. And number four will be installed in Oman. That's the new generation in a few months. Anyway, thank you for joining us and talking to us. For more interesting videos, keep watching Times TV. Hello everyone, welcome to Times TV. Oman Airports has signed an agreement with the German company in partnership with RNN Khimji uh, that is going to install a drone detection system at the Muscat International Airport, which also makes the airport the first international airport in the world to have an operational drone detection system. So in this regard, let's welcome Aditya Khimji, Managing Director of RN Khimji, who's going to tell us about the company and what exactly made them start this project. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, and it's a pleasure to be on Times of Oman and Times TV. Uh, our group, uh, since inception, has been uh, uh, operating under the His Majesty's vision uh, to bring connectivity to the Sultan. And uh, from our beginnings in the civil construction industry to today where we focus on critical communications, um, our, our goal believes in seeking out the most optimal and efficient solutions that are required for safety and connectivity. Um, we are proud to support Oman Airport's vision of becoming a global player, uh, for, of being a global leader in the aviation industry. And um, to the, the state-of-the-art system which we've helped them procure and that we'll help them install and uh, operate uh, is, a, is a big step to show how progressive we are as a country and, and how progressive Oman Airport is to do this uh, uh, big step to provide safety to our skies and our airport environment. So Mr. Aditya, how do you think this is going to benefit the people in Oman? Well, currently we have no way of knowing when uh, somebody is operating a drone in this country. And uh, our system uh, will benefit the country as a whole because it will allow the authorities to know uh, not only when somebody is flying a drone, but if somebody is flying a drone within the airspace or the flight path. Mm -hmm. And what this does is brings us a step closer to regulating drones in the country and allowing people to gain the benefits of the drone without, uh, of using a drone mm -hmm. uh, without actually fearing them. So, uh, for example, if somebody wants to fly a drone to take a picture of their house and they're not in the flight path, it's not so scary. Right. But uh, if, if their house is next to the airport and they decide to do that, mm -hmm. it might be putting several lives at risk. Absolutely. So, so really, you want to be in a position to know when something is going to happen, before it's going to happen, and you want to be in a position to allow people to enjoy the best of technologies at the same time. Mm 